Hey, Radians here. These days I use Next.js for my frontend work and I prefer to do it with a monorepo. This approach allows me to store all the frontends of the product in the same repository along with backend services and shared libraries. This setup enables me to reuse code and finish work faster. I will guide you through how to establish such a monorepo using Yarn Workspaces and Next.js. The source code and comments can be found in the description. Further, you can also use React Kit as a template for your project instead of going through this video. Firstly, verify that you have the latest stable version of Yarn installed. In case you do not have Yarn, follow the instructions from their website. Then create a folder for your project and add a package.json with the subsequent content. For this tutorial, we will use the name React Kit to maintain consistency with my GitHub template. The package manager and engine fields are optional. They can be employed to compel your team to utilize the same package manager. Our monitor report will not be published to NPM, so set private to true. We will incorporate a flat structure. Thus, you can consider everything in the root directory a potential Yarn workspace. The dev dependencies incorporate TypeScript and libraries for linting and formatting. The script section includes a post install script that installs Husky hooks and a format script that formats and lints the entire project. Next, add a csconfig.json for TypeScript configuration. To customize Prettier, include Prettier RC file. It's optional to add a Prettier ignore file which will utilize the same syntax as git ignore to exclude certain files from formatting. To execute prettier and yeslint upon commit, you can add a linstaged rc.json file with instructions for the linstaged library. Below is a generic yeslint config for our monorep. Let's include a git ignore file to eliminate unnecessary yarn files and node modules. Subsequently, let's generate a new git repository with git init. To format files during the pre-commit phase, we will use the Husky library, initialize it with this command. For the pre-commit hook, we want to run linstaged, so modify the file in the Husky slash pre-commit file. Before creating our first workspace, you must decide whether to use yarn plug and play feature or not. Plug and play is the default method of managing dependencies in the latest yarn, but it might not work for certain packages that rely on the traditional method of having all packages in the same node modules directory. And I found plug and play to be quite troublesome. I believe the ecosystem is not quite ready for it yet, so it might be better to try it in a year. For now, we'll proceed with node modules by adding the following line to the yarnrc.yaml file. Now we can install dependencies with here. Our Next.js app requires a UI package with a component system. So let's copy the UI folder from React Kit to our monitor. To establish a new Next.js project, we will use the create next app command. We won't use server components in this tutorial, so there is no need for the app route. Update the next config.js file to add support for styled components, static export, and to transpile our shared UI package. Also, you should install styled components and next sitemap pack. To generate a sitemap, add a next sitemap.config.js file. I prefer to provide site URL from the environment variable called next public base URL. To use absolute import within the app project, update the tsconfig.json file with the compile options fields for base URL. For efficient use of local storage, we'll copy the state folder from React Kit. To understand more about the implementation, you can check this video. We'll do the same with the UI folder that gives support for the dark and light mode along with the theme for styled components. You can watch a video on this topic here. We also need to update the document TSX file to support styled components and add basic metadata. To learn more about generating icons for a progressive web app, you can check this video. We will be using styled components, so let's remove the styles folder and modify the app TSX file. Finally, we can try to import one of the reusable components from the UI package to the index.csx page. To deploy a static Next.js app to AWS S3 and CloudFront, you can follow this video. That's all, stay productive. To become an effective programmer, check out my productivity app at increaser.org.